Hello, baby dolls. Today, I have to put my captain's hat on because I'm here to pay respects. You see, there are a lot of people who are going to get wrecked. In crypto, I try to do as much as I can to do the hard work and research for you. Yes, I'm doing literally 99.9% .9 of it for free. I'm just throwing out edge and information out here because I'm so confident that we can win. But you got to follow the rules. I know you like big butts. That's why you like, subscribe, belly button and all. Family friendly show. One of the rules, friends, is you can't do leverage. Unless you're in the top 3%. You're not in the top 3%. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. Okay, most of those people, they don't have time to. They're just watching the candles all day. That's what I was doing my whole life, man. You're just watching the candles all day. You don't have time to watch anybody else. But that's not where the edge is. The edge is in emotional buyers coming in. <clears throat> people who want to make money. But, I know you like big butts once again. Please pay attention. If you are fighting the offers on a centralized exchange, there's a higher chance you're fighting <clears throat> insiders, VCs, the exchange themselves who are iceberging on offers, who are just selling and dumping because they have a big amount to distribute out. If you are fighting on chain and buying with everybody else, there is a higher chance that people don't know what they're doing. Now, there is no 100% guarantee. Remember, it is all just a chance. There is a Twitter account here that seems, I've been linked to it. Some people said we can have some fun looking at it, but I don't like, I don't like, it's not having fun, friends. Look, why is it having fun? Well, you can see here the deep red minus $161,000 loss. Now, <clears throat> Tarted DGen Gambler, I want you to just, just chill out, friends. I am skeptical and paranoid. And... If you've been in crypto for more than five minutes, you'll know why. As soon as I see these, I notice a female avatar and I notice something about this. I go, hmm, a lot of money lost. Now, I don't know if this is real, but the lessons are true. Because a lot of people, what you're going to find is, <clears throat> yeah, get ready for this, friends. In 2024, this year, Bitcoin halvening, if things start going up, there are people who did not buy their strong core altcoins or made money at all because they just sidelined with stable coins. Okay, they broke one of my 10 bull commandments. They fornicated with stable coins pre euphoria. Now, these people, unfortunately, they're going to get some angel music. Okay, they deserve some angel music <clears throat> because these people, they're scum. And what they're going to try to do is they're going to try bait people into donating money to them. Say, oh, woe is me. Like, I lost money on leverage. Oh, I'm a girl, etc. Okay. No one's a girl on the internet, friends. No one, okay? So we, everyone knows that rule. Now, when it comes to these, let's look at the types of replies this person got, okay? So please, financial advise me what to do now. Don't give up now. Hey, <laughs> hey. Now, Mrs. and altcoin degener, Eric Crypto Cartman. So Eric Crypto Man. <clears throat> so talking about, remember this, $161,000 leverage trading loss. I probably did this pl five plus times in my life, but I never once thought about quitting despite being sad for a day. You should gamble on low caps with some basic due diligence instead of leveraging and playing the long game. And play and instead of leverage and play the long game. It's a difference between extra hard mode and easy mode. So it's, it's funny. I haven't read the comments yet. You said exactly what I'm talking about. If you're on leverage, you get forced out. You do get forced out and you pay a funding. And you really got to know what you're doing, man. I know it's, it's fun. It's not, not even that complicated. It's just you got to win more than you lose. It's just very, very basic stuff. It's just fighting the human emotions and getting an edge. It's a lot more difficult than what it is. They say it's the hardest way to make a million dollars, basically, because you're constantly fighting. Not everybody can win. Okay, But the beautiful part about crypto is we can participate on chain. So that's why I do things. For example, friends, I've shown you like I've done lottery videos so so you you don't have any guarantees but when for example now of course these things can all go to zero right so when i find things like hey icosa might be leverage on hex i know it doesn't take a genius to figure out like oh wow maybe you're doing like a rounded bottom and you eventually go up i know yeah it really is that simple and if you want to structure yourself better you can put an indicator on yourself on a long a longer time frame now, his cult, for example, this is a coin, right? So this is a perfect example. Now, <clears throat> the thing is, right, cult Dow has literally been going down forever. This is a weekly chart. It's just been red. Look at, see the red line? Red, 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 red. Look, it just finally, finally, finally flips green. Finally here after all that time. I want to remind you as well, 
I bought Colt back here, it popped up 100X, I got out, and then everybody said it was the future of finance and it just sank forever. So I'm just showing you a very basic principle. I put a super trend, so if you go to trading, you type in a super trend, right? See a super trend? I put in a super trend and I put in a weekly time frame. But you gotta be watching them. You don't get, you don't get these often. If you want friends, you can go to a, a three day, but there are fake outs, you can go to a three day chart. The lower your time frame, the more ping outs you get. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you're playing for the same narrative to develop as everybody else, which is one, Bitcoin goes up. Two, everybody gets greedy. Three, your coins go up. That's what you're playing for. And we hope that we're on the right side of history when it comes to these. And yeah, if you're from the traditional finance world, it's very hard to envision a world. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe all these people who are monkey brains, peanut brains, who say, wow. This magical fractal of a four-year cycle thing just might repeat again. We just go up. Yeah, that's why it's crazy, right, if it works out. So as you can see here, right, so Eric Crypto Carman, speaking about on-chain stuff, that's, it's really important to know these because, you know, you know, friends, you always got to know, right, who's the sucker at the table? You ever heard that saying? If you can't tell me who the sucker at the table is, that sucker is you. Yeah, well, if you can't tell me who the sucker is, when it comes to a big coin just launches and everybody's firming in, right? If you can't tell me how the VCs are making money and value and et cetera with all these coins and whatever, guess what? You're the value. You and me are the yield. They promote to us. They don't let me and you in on cheap price ICOs. There are some principles that you can take on for yourself. For example, like, hey, always get in with a cheap price, number one. If you can't get in a cheap price, so you don't, if, if you don't know what a cheap price is, friends, that's why I just gave you like these basic indicator, like, hey, at least try wait for a green weekly super trend and see where, you know, where the cookie crumbles. <clears throat> at the end of the day, though, there's a timer that runs out and that is just the Bitcoin bull market. We don't know when it's going to run out, but, you know, Bitcoin 80K, 100K, you don't know. So, I oh, know a lot of question marks. But that's good. That's good. A lot of people, they get anxious with these question marks. They go, no, no, golly gee, I can't take them. Trust me, you want them. Because if we can't answer them, no one can answer them. And if no one can answer these questions, they are just FOMO buying and they're not thinking about it. They don't worry about unit bias. They don't worry about anything else. They don't think about all this stuff. Now, remember in Eric's, in Eric's post, he also mentioned do some basic due diligence. So what it means is, see, friends, there's people in like super high impulsive land, DGen casino land, where a coin will literally launch within the first six, seven days. Within one day, people are buying them literally within three hours after launch, three minutes after launch. And they'll have to do some basic checks on the contract addresses. They go through scanners. They go, hey, is it a honeypot? Where is it a buy-only scam where you can't sell the token? Are all the coins owned by somebody who's splitting it to seven addresses to keep dumping silently in the background? These types of things are automated by them and they end up doing it. But what I've found is, I mean, it's great if you're in the habit of doing it. The problem is, I don't want to be, and you don't either, either. you don't want this, where you take off these three days because you can't do it. Maybe you're busy. And in those three days, the moonshot that you were meant to be on launched. Okay, it gets very, very tough. So you can play every spectrum of the game, right? <clears throat> the good thing is you have a friend like me. I'm trying to do research, finding coins. Hey, for example, I showed you Icos. It might be leverage on Hex. We know the subculture and the ecosystem. Hex, Pulse Chain, right? Real DeFi. There are 68 streamers. There are 140 plus content creators. You see these things happening and you go, okay, I'm waiting for the price to react. And then there's a way to get leverage without actually getting the real dangerous leverage, okay? By the way, people are participating with that on the Pulse Chain ecosystem as well using the PHUX gaming, okay? Um, PHUX leverage trading and stuff. So you have these, right? I think, and fame, P-H-A-M-E, all right? So famous. Don't do them, friends. You're going to get wrecked. People are still going to keep doing them, but it's okay. It's because they just don't want to move to coins. They're like, ah, I, I want to stick to this coin and bet whether it goes up and down. But most of the edge is in finding smaller market cap, smaller user base stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, especially if it's a cycle one coin or if it's going off a hot new narrative. So even go through here, friends, you see this, like, you know, this person even joking, Smiley, I'll see you in two hours. Basically joking, like, jokes aside, I got popped for 2x that in a singular hourly candle in May 19. So he's basically saying, yeah, I lost like 320K instantly, etc. Trust me, people lost way, way, way more money than that, friend. So everyone's saying, look, you don't have a stop loss, etc. <clears throat> That's why the more times you click, it's harder to win. 
because your decision tree gets more complicated and there's slippage and there's a lot of other factors that that compound over time. And I've told you many times, many of our videos, people underestimate okay, how long it takes for them to make it. They think they can make it in like 50 trades. What ends up happening is they've literally had to click the button 500 plus times. They still haven't made it. So all that is eating to slippage costs, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why historically we look at the on-chain, right? All the data says one thing. It says, well, the people who kill it the most, they bought in the Bitcoin halvening year and then they sold 12 months after the Bitcoin halvening. If you had to do a formula, that's actually it. We're in the Bitcoin halvening year right now. You just don't know which coins, okay? That's why we explore different ones. I'm trying to explore different ones. Low market cap-ish, have a community, all right? Pulse Chain, Pulse X and Hex has an ecosystem. Maybe new meme coins and stuff sprawl out of that. So you got to take these principles for yourself, friends. I know there is no magic formula. If you're watching my channel, you keep 90% core, you keep 10% lottery. 90% core, you choose what you want. Some people just have 90% full Bitcoin. Okay, <clears throat> some people have a split between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Some of us include into that Chainlink, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex. We include that in there. You have to decide on your ratio. There is no right ratio because no one knows what happens next. Okay, people have had Soilana, they won. But you know, the people who won in Soilana, right, in the recent pump, go talk to someone in XRP. They literally have missed out for the past four years. Okay, so you have to decide what you want. Now, the lottery ticket is where the fun part starts. That's where we discover potentially new cores, but they've got to prove themselves to us first. You don't really know. So that's why Bitcoin Harmony, we're here to do it, but it's leveraged in a different way. That's what ultimately you've come to realize this. You go, wait a minute. So people who want to do lazy leverage, which is borrowing money they don't have, they're the ones who can get forced out anywhere. And those are the ones who are playing against the house. They're playing with tougher competition. Okay, but another smarter way to get leverage for peanut brain leverage is you're buying lower cap altcoins, which might be circling around an ecosystem. And the one, obviously, one example I used was it was Icosa. So Icosa has a ratio. Obviously, you can see against Hex, which is a chart right here. Okay, Icosa Hex ratio. And so if Hex recovers and this goes up all the way up to the ceiling, you get like a plus five hundred percent on your Hex. So you, that, that's your leverage, okay? And you can see, well, oh, what's the downside? Yeah, here's the thing. The downside is if you get this wrong, you've lost 80% more than what Hex lost. So you basically really got crushed. And you can see if it changes to the USD pricing by sick, checking up here, look how much you lost. You lost 90% on your USD. Whereas Hex, I think only lost 80%. You see, so I think Hex went from like five cents down to like one cent combined. But then this one, so that was an 80% drop from five down to one. This one dropped 90%. You can see the leverage, right? So it hurts on the way down, but that's why. Remember my core principles, I've told you. Bitcoin halvening year, people get the greed and stuff. It is a cycle. Here's the thing, of course, there is no free lunch. <clears throat> we don't know if it's gonna repeat again. We don't know. And two, we don't even know when our coin or our selection of coins can even make it. You don't know. But if you are waiting for other things to keep popping off and chase them, you're going to end up getting wrecked. Okay, that's why you got to prepare. Just pray, hey, I've got a reasonably cheap price. I've given you an indicator to look at as well. And so you do the hard work with the research and you just go, all right, well, let's just see how the next 15 months plays out. That's all you can really do. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. Don't forget to love your friends. Tell mum and dad you love and appreciate it and see you catch you soon.